All right, so what we're working on in this section is exponential equations. First, we have to know what an exponential equation is. And an exponential equation is an equation that has variable, has the variable in the exponent. So you can see down here my variable is part of the exponent. Okay. To solve an exponential equation, you first must get the bases the same. Once the bases are the same, you can cross off the bases and solve the remaining equation. So when we look at this first example on the left, my base is 2, and over on the right side, my base is 2. Those bases are the same, and when you have equal bases, that means that your exponents are going to also be equal. So I cross off those. And now my equation becomes x plus 3 is 4. And now to get rid of a plus 3, I minus 3. So x is 1. So the challenging part is not when the bases are the same. The challenging part is when the bases aren't the same. So here's an example. I have a base of 2. And then I have this 8 over here. Well, what I have to do is I have to write 2 in terms of an, an, to get an 8. And so here are our exponents. 2 to the 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 to the 3rd is 8. So that's the one that I'm going to use because I have to have a base 2. So now I'm going to keep the left the same. 2 to the power of 3x minus 4. And instead of 8, I'm going to write 2 to the 3rd. Now, my bases are the same. So that means I could go ahead and cross them off. And so now my equation is 3x minus 4 equals 3. We solve by adding 4 on both sides. And then we divide by 3. So x is 7 over 3. You will see a lot of 2's, so you should also know 2 to the 4th is 16. And you should know some of these by now. We've done a lot of exponents. You also should be familiar with the uh, 3's. 3's, we usually don't go that high. We usually only go to the 4th. Uh, and then the other one you should know is 5's. So 5 to the 1 is 5. 5 squared is 25. 125. And then 625. I would be really familiar, familiar with the 2s, 3s, and 5s. You don't need to know the 4s because 4 is just a 2. Okay? Um, and you may see some other ones, but these are the 3 that you're going to see the most. And if you recognize those numbers, it's just going to save you some time. Okay, so go ahead and make sure you get those written down, and when you're ready, go ahead and press play. <clears throat> okay, so we have three examples to go over here. Um, and so right now, I have a base of 2 and 4. And so the 2 is okay, so I'm going to keep that there. The 4 needs to be 2 squared. And so I write 2 squared. And what happens here is that I still have this. But I have to put it in parentheses, okay, because it's 2 squared and it's to the x plus 9. So now I have both of these, and so my equation is 4x minus 3. Um, I'm going to go ahead and distribute this, so I'm doing this as I write it, so I don't have another step to do. So 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 9 is 18. And so this had an extra uh, step, which was that distributing step. And so now I minus 2x on both sides, and I get 2x minus 3 is 18. I'm going to add 3 to both sides and get 2x is 21. And I'm going to divide by 2, so x is either 21 over 2 or 10.5. Either of those answers is acceptable. Okay, when we look at number 2, 9 and 27, neither of them are prime. But if you look up at your list, you should notice they're right here. 9 is 3 squared, and 27 is 3 to the third. 
So I'm going to rewrite 9, change color so it doesn't stand next to the other one, 3 squared, and then I need to put the x there. And then 27 is 3 to the third, and I have x plus 2 there. So now I have the same, I have the same basis. So my equation will be 2x, and now I'm going to distribute this, is equal to 3x plus 6. And so I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. So negative 1x is 6. And then I'm going to divide by negative 1, so x is negative 6. Okay, so the last what type we have is sometimes you're going to have fractions, but in the fraction you just focus on this denominator. And that denominator is an 8, and hopefully you go up to your list and you recognize, oh, there's 8, 8 is 2 to the third. So I know it's base 2, and I know it's a 3. But the only way that 8 could get to the bottom of a fraction is if it's a negative exponent. So this is 2 to the negative 3 is equal to 2 to the x minus 3. So whenever you have a negative exponent, you have to realize negative exponents go to the bottom. Okay? And so now negative 3 is equal to x minus 3. I add 3 on both sides. And so x is 0 for this. Okay? So another example is if I had 1 over 25, that would be 5 to the negative 2. If I had 1 over 81, 81 is 3 to the 4th, so it would be 3 to the negative 4. So if you have a power or a number on the bottom of the fraction, just know that it had to be a negative exponent. Okay, so for this lesson, that's about it. You have to try and get your bases the same. Majority of your bases you'll find in these numbers up here. Once your bases are the same, you cross them off, and then you have basic um, equations to solve.